Do you want to take your photo editing skill to the next level? If yes, then you need to know these five basic touching principles for beginner. So, principle number one, never edit the original image. So as simple as this might sound, let's say for example, this is our original image. So I'm going to name this one original. So if we edit this our original image, so let's say this is our edited image and we edited the original. And let's say we want to change the way we edited this image or the style we used to edit this image. We won't be able to do that because we've edited the original image. But in this case, what we want to do is to make a copy of the original image. So we're going to make a copy of the original image. Copy. And instead of editing this original image, we are just going to edit the copy. So I'm going to edit the copy like this. Now let's want to change the style of the edit. Since we still have the original image, we can just make another copy of the original image and edit it to the new style we want. So let's say this is a new style. So we're just going to edit it to the new style we want. So that's why software like Capture One allow to automatically duplicate our original image for us so that we can actually edit the copy. So principle number two, make sure your screen is calibrated. So what's screen calibration? Screen calibration is setting your monitor screen to get the standard RGB color, which is the red, blue, and greens. And I'm going to show you a low budget where you can actually use to calibrate your screen using an iPhone. Because sometimes after we finish editing our image on our monitor, the colors we get for our monitor is totally different from the colors we have on our phone or we upload the images online. And this problem is common with people that use Windows. But if you use Mac, you hardly get this issue. I've used my Mac for almost two months right now and I've had no color issues at all. To calibrate your screen, just come to Google and just type in color calibration and just click on image and just download this image right here. So once you download this image, just make sure you post the image on your phone so right now, you can see I have the same image on my phone. So after that, come to your search bar and you search for calibration. I agree to see calibrate display color right here. So click on it. I just going to open this display color calibration for you. Now from here, just click on next. Click on next again. Click on next again. Click on next again. Just click clicking on next until you get to this RGB color right here. So right here we have the red, blue, and green. So once you get to this adjust color balance that will have the red, green, and blue, I'm not going to open that image you downloaded inside the Photoshop and I'm just going to minimize it so I can see the colors of the image. All right, so I'm going to take it a little bit like this so I can actually see the red, blue, and green because that's what we are going to be working on. So once we have that color open, I'm going to come to my calibration and just minimize it as well. All right, so from here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to play with the red slider and make sure the red color I'm seeing on my laptop is the same red I'm getting on my phone. So I'll come to the reds and just try to adjust the reds until I guess the color I'm looking for. Also, I'll come to the blues and just try to match the blues with the same color I'm getting on my phone. So I'm going to take the blues down a little bit like this. All right. So as I'm doing it, you can see the color of my monitor is changing. Also, I'll come to the greens. So for the green, I'm just going to move the green down a little bit until I get the same colors I'm getting here and I'm getting it for my PC as well. So I'm going to move the color of the greens down a little bit like so. Come to the right as well move the reds down a little bit so i'm looking at my screen and looking at the color i have there make sure the both color are matching all right so i will come back to my blues again and just take the blues up just a little bit like so all right maybe take the greens up a little bit like this take the reds down a little bit like so all right so i think i'm matching the same color i'm having right here i'm having the same color on my phone so once you feel that close so just click on next and just save it like that. Once you click on finish, it's just going to save. What I already calibrated in Windows, so I'm going to click on cancel right here. 
So this is the low budget way you can actually calibrate your screen. So principle number three is to crop out or remove what you don't need on your image. So for example, let's say this is our canvas right here, or rather this is our image. And this right here is our subject. And there are some distractions on our image. We can either remove these distractions so that the viewer's eyes are going to be drawn to our subject, or just to focus the user's eyes to our subject. Or if we can remove it, we can either just crop the image like this so that these distractions right here are not going to be there anymore so we have only our subject in focus that's principle number three always make sure your subject is in focus and remove what you don't actually need from your image principle number four don't over edit your image now I've seen a lot of images online that people do over edit or over retouch your image. Now, editing your image is just to enhance the image. Sometimes when we go overboard, we tend to spoil the image and just damage the image. So let's take this image right here as an example. And also edit this image. I'll just go to the white balance and just take down the white balance down just a little bit to fix the temperature of the image. But if I take it down too much like this, you can see it's just spoiling the image. Or, let's say for example, I want to color grade this image. I can just come to my color tab right here. Come to this general color right here. Let's say I want to add a little bit of saturation. I can just come to the saturation and just add a little bit just like this. But if I overdo it like this, you can see it's just going to spoil the image because I'm overdoing it. So instead, I'm just going to add a little bit of saturation to the image just to enhance it and not overdo it. Now let's say I want to add exposure or remove exposure from this image. If I just take the exposure up like this, you can see right now I'm overdoing it. But just for me to just take it towards that minimum level and just make sure I enhance it. But right now I still feel it's too much. So I'm going to take the exposure down a little bit like this. I don't have to take it all the way down like this. Just minimal minimal edit to your image and that's how you can actually make your image look good. So don't actually over edit your image. If you over edit your image, it's going to make your image look bad. And principle number five is get a reference. So get reference. So if you're editing an image and you don't know where to start from or you don't know where to go, you should get a reference because getting a reference image is like a map that will guide you to your edit. I personally use reference for editing. So when I'm editing, I'll just go to Instagram and see any image which I actually like the color, especially for color grading. And I just try to tweak my own color to get almost the same color as my reference. Now, you don't have to get exactly the same color like your reference. It's just like a roadmap or a guide to actually edit your image just in case you are stuck and you don't actually know where to start from or where to go from where you are. So getting a reference is actually a great idea. So if you follow this five principle, you're actually going to improve your editing skills. And if you want to learn how to edit your image from start to finish, check out this playlist right here. See you guys in my next one. Stay creative.